I woke up to my weather app telling me that the weather was misty. It was already 8 in the morning, meaning that most of the mist would be gone soon. So I ran outside as fast as I could to go on a quick morning walk. Despite it already being halfway into September, we've had a heat wave the past week in the Netherlands. And after days of melting away my room this crisp morning, honestly felt like such a godsend. Seeing the fog on the canals is my favorite sign that a new season is starting. And I really hope that this finally means that autumn is finally really beginning here. Hello, my name is Leonie, welcome. Not to be that person that puts way too much emphasis on the changing of the season, but um, I'm pretty happy that it seems like autumn is finally coming around. I know it's already almost halfway into September, but we've been having a heat wave in the Netherlands for some reason. <laughs> for days, it had been 27 degrees inside my room and I was going a little bit insane. So I am just so happy that finally we are seeing the first signs of fall and it's immediately making my mood better. I know it's kind of like a ticking time bomb before the fact that it's going to get dark sooner is going to um, unlift my spirits again. But currently the fact that the weather is getting a little bit colder is lifting my spirits a lot. I have a very scary week ahead to be honest. Like on Thursday I have to give a speech. <laughs> I've been invited by Google, Google themselves, YouTube themselves, to give a speech about booktube on a YouTube event in the Netherlands, which I'm extremely, I feel so honored about this, but also I am so scared. I'm so scared I'm going to forget my words or that I'm not gonna talk in like a nice way. I've had like a speaking coach lesson, but the one piece of advice that people always give me is like, oh, you need to be loud or you need to be more, you know, like open and big. And I'm like, I'm shy. <laughs> Have a hard time like really having stage presence. Um, and I still sometimes forget some of the words of my speech. It's, it's really short, it's like, two, three minutes. So it's really not, you know, I don't have to learn like a Shakespeare monologue by heart, uh, but still sometimes I forget stuff and my mind is just going and my imagination is giving me like a million things that could go wrong, giving me all these like disaster scenarios of, of everything that's, that's gonna go wrong probably and I need to stop doing that. What I'm saying is I'm scared this week. That's the theme of this week is that I am scared. But at least the weather is getting a little bit nice and we can be cozy. Um, something that I've been doing that I know is always a sign that my spirits are lifted and I'm feeling better is that I've been cooking and making homemade things. I'm so proud of myself for making homemade stuff. I made a focaccia bread even though almost the entire thing has been eaten by now. And I've also been infusing my own oils. So this was actually my first time making a focaccia bread because apparently it's one of the easiest breads to make and it was fine. I followed a BBC recipe, but it didn't really get, you know, like nice and bubbly on the inside. So I think I should have either activated the yeast more or maybe I should have left it to proof for longer. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll take this as a good excuse to just make focaccia bread more often. Um, and then for the oils, so I made like a lazy version of chili oil, which basically I just took uh, those dried chili flakes and then I also bought like whole dried chilies 
a few of which I cut up and put inside the oil and one I left whole because it just looks cool <laughs> to have like a full chili in your chili oil and then I just poured a neutral oil on top. It just has to infuse over time. I have to make sure to stir it every day. I can already tell that it's getting redder with the day, which I think means that it's taking on like the chili. You can easily speed up this process if you just heat the oil in a pan with all the chili in it, but you kind of risk burning the chili. And I know myself and I'm not taking that risk. So instead I'm, I'm taking the slow route. And then I also made garlic, roasted garlic oil. This is so easy to make. I just put a bunch of garlic cloves on an oven tray, covered them, in oil and then put them in the oven on 150 degrees celsius for 40 minutes my garlic cloves ended up getting a little too roasted like they burnt a little so i should probably do it on an even lower temperature next time but then what you are left with is these roasted garlic cloves that you can use for cooking and then the oil is infused with ro roasted garlic flavor amazing amazing you don't have to throw anything away so yeah you can call me a homemade cooking queen <sighs> i feel so cool when i make my own stuff <laughs> and now i have to go practice my speech and find an outfit in which you will not see my sweaty armpits that i will 100 percent have I'm probably just gonna go with this for my speech. I would wear this on a normal day, <laughs> but it's all I got. I don't really have any, um, I really do fancy things, so I have no fancy clothing. Much better. dark afternoon i'm going to do a little tv show marathon with a few friends we've been watching the boys for the past few months now um and we wanted for a snack we wanted to have bread and dips my favorite thing on planet earth and i decided to make lebne i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong but i had it in a restaurant recently and i love it so I tried making it myself and you basically just put Greek yogurt, let all the water come out and then you add stuff to it. So I'm excited to see if that's gonna work. I'm gonna put on this candle. And this is my work candle. I always have a candle that I light and when I start my work, it like tricks my brain into one, making it feel like I'm not working. You know, it's just, it's cozy time. Um, and then also I think it just tricks my brain, you know, having the scent that I always have when I'm working, having this little ritual that I always start when I start my work day. That's why I do it. A little of a life hack if you also work from home. This is the first day that it's not like super sunny in my room. So it really feels like autumn is coming here. And I wanted to talk about that because I, I recently realized that the way I look at autumn is still as if I'm a student, even though this is now my second autumn that I'm not going back to school in any capacity, which is still very weird. But I realized that going to school every year and having this school year starting at fall just really changed the way that I look at time because I still see fall as a time of new beginnings. You know, the start of a new year, new things are going to be happening. When it's not, it's actually the end of the year, you know. Nature starts dying, <laughs> the leaves start falling, it's all going downhill from here, basically. It, it is the beginning of the end of the year, but in my mind, I still see fall as like, Oh, something new is happening now. The new year is beginning. There is space now to bring new things into your life. Let me know if anyone else 
looks at fall this way and if it ever goes away this way of looking at time um, if you're out of school for long enough but because of that this feeling of like oh it's a new beginning the new year is starting I also you know during the summer was kind of thinking of like wait okay so a year has passed like what am I gonna do now like what am I gonna do with my life <laughs> oh oh the wick just broke off okay look at this I think it's kind of at its end. <gasps> that means I don't have any candles anymore. Oh, that might be a problem. I have no candles. I've burned through my work candle and I've also burned through my fun candle <laughs> a while ago and now I have no candles to burn. Oh gosh, I think we need to buy candles. Oh no, how terrible. <laughs> That's gonna be a wicked thing. How am I supposed to work without my candle? Mm, no, this candle's definitely burnt out. Okay, anyway. So in summer, I started thinking about what do I want to do in the new year? Because I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. This is a constant state of being that I am in at all times, not knowing what the hell's going on in my life. <laughs> but one of the things that I decided that I kind of wanted to do was basically go back to the things I enjoyed doing when I was a child. So I've been doing a lot more drawing, but one of the main things I wanted to get back into is writing. Because I used to love writing when I was younger and then I kind of stopped doing it during university. And now I'm like, oh, I want to write and then I don't do it because I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified of writing, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm afraid I turn out to be bad at it and then I don't know what to do with myself. I decided to sign up for a writing class during the fall semester. It's not affiliated with any university, it's like a private writing class. You have to write like a little thing of like, oh, why should we choose you? Which I hate, I'm so bad at that. But I, I did it. I decided to just sign in for three classes just three, <laughs> just in case, you know, to kind of spread my chances. Um, and for one of them, I already got the result back that I was not admitted because they only admit eight people per class, which is not a lot because I think they get a lot of people who want to join their classes. But in the email, they did say that the reason that they rejected me is because they got a lot of people who wanted to join the class and I had applied for multiple classes therefore showing that I was interested in other classes as well so they didn't want to admit me into that class because there were so many other people and now they're gonna try extra hard to get me into one of the other two classes that I applied for so I'm hoping that this is actually a good sign. Um, the deadline isn't until October, so it's gonna take a while before I know if I'm admitted to any of those, but I really hope so. Maybe I'll just light these candles as my work candles. These are actually my, um, my recreational candles. <laughs> what do you guys do when you finished a scented candle? <laughs> by the way, you see, this is not a gradient glass, by the way. Like this dark, that's soot. That's soot from the candles. It looks like it's a very cool blue black gradient, but no, that's all coal. I wish they made refillable scented candles because I'm always throwing away empty scented candles and it feels like such a waste. So if anyone has a tip, let me know. Okay, and then it was the day that I had to give my speech. I woke up already just so nervous. Like my heart was just 
pounding constantly. But you know, you gotta pull yourself together, get going. I uh, went to the location and fortunately in the morning I had rehearsal so I could try out my little speech on the big stage and that went quite well so that did help with some of the nervousness um, but I still had to wait around the entire day um, before the actual speech for the event in the evening so I decided to go to Amsterdam to the city center and just chill. I found this really cute creperie where I ate a wonderful cheese galette that was way too expensive but at least it was good and I just spent the afternoon chilling in the park and then around dinner time I went back to get ready and my friend was there to support me amazingly And then it was time for my speech and it actually went quite well like I just talked about booktube and why I made this channel and why I love making videos just talking about books um, and Laureen was there too didn't didn't expect that but Lorraine was there and we just had like a fun rest of the evening. So yay, it went well. According to the weather forecast, it was supposed to be very rainy this week, but that really did not happen. It's still very warm and sunny. Here's a life hack for when you want to wear sweaters, but the weather is still too hot for it. Sweater dress. Hey, I'm very tired today because yesterday it kind of sapped all of my energy. Ow, 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 ow. Don't worry, it's not, I didn't spill much. Yesterday was very cool and very scary. I'm very tired today because I used up all of my energy yesterday. I think it went well. I think it went well, actually. The moment itself, going off on that stage, for some reason, I was oddly calm. There was an odd calm that overcame me, and I just kind of did my speech in some kind of trance state. And I think it went well. I didn't make any mistakes. Yay! I don't know how to feel right now. I guess I should be proud of myself. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. It was really really cool. I think the weird thing about public speaking, you know, also if you ever have to give like a presentation for a school or something, there's always some people in the audience that are talking to each other or that are maybe laughing and I immediately always think, oh my god, they're laughing at me. Like, I'm not doing well or something I'm doing is apparently very funny. So that means it's not going well and that happened as well during my speech but I have to kind of remind myself that sometimes people just like talk to each other a little bit just babble a little bit it has nothing to do with what you're saying they're just not paying attention to you <laughs> also isn't fun but at least they're not making fun of you I hope I don't know maybe I'm just telling myself that but that's okay if you need to be a little bit delusional to get yourself through scary things like public speaking then you should do so hurts <laughs> from smelling all the candles. Normally when I go candle shopping I get my scented candles at H&M Home, Hema or Rituals. I really like those brands and normally all the candles I think generally in the Netherlands are very sleek, very simple. They have very clear perfume based scents like patchouli or mahogany or cherry blossom. Today 
I decided to go try my luck at TK Maxx because I do know that they tend to have really good candles at a discount because candles, good candles can be quite pricey but at TK Maxx, if you don't know it, it's kind of like a department store where they sell things that aren't, for some reason, they can't sell them in normal stores, like maybe there's just a little dent or a little scratch in the glass or maybe they're leftover products and then they are sold at a discount at TK Maxx, which is amazing because you can get good stuff at a lower price. And they had so many candles. I've never seen so many specifically fall themed candles before because in the stores that I usually go to and I think again generally in the Netherlands we don't have a lot of very seasonal stuff we all like to keep it simple but here they had like all the fall themed stuff that comes in here from like other countries um, and I've broken my nose trying to smell all of them and I ended up buying four candles so I think I'm good for the rest of the season. And I kind of took some risks. Intrigued and a little bit scared <laughs> to see how they smell if I'm smelling them now, now that my nose works again, instead of like in store. This one's really simple from You Are Bane in the scent Santal. This is what I like. Just a very simple. It has a very warm, woody smell. So I think this is gonna be my next work candle. Sandalwood and patchouli. Oh, so sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember standing in the ale and smelling this one and thinking, oh, this one's a lot less sweet and like overwhelmingly vanilla pumpkin spice cookie whatever than the other ones. But now that I'm smelling it here, I'm like, this one's still very sweet. But I bought this because it has a wood wick. So it has one of those wicks made of wood that will crackle when you burn it and I love those and I normally get the original Woodwick brand but they're pretty expensive and this one was only 10 euros so this is gonna be my evening wind down candle <laughs> this one oh my god it's a mushroom forest again I'm also not used to these like very like illustrated candles but I thought this one was very cute and it smells pretty fresh a little bit like just general soap and laundry I don't know what on earth mushroom forest is supposed to mean <laughs> like I don't know what the actual smell this scent consists of um, but it does kind of remind me of like a rainy forest it's nice and I thought if I burn this up, I have a cute little jar. And then the last one is kind of a gamble. Most of the scents that they had were these like pumpkin cookie baked, whatever, super sweet stuff that I normally really don't like. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just give one a try. And I bought this one, but it smells, oh my God, it's even more, now that I'm smelling it here. It's just incredibly sweet pumpkin coconut and I do like the smell but I'm not sure if I would like it if my room smells like this because it's so overwhelmingly sweet but I actually I kind of like it okay I burn candles every day because I work from home so I go through these pretty fast probably okay it is still currently very very hot in my room still feels like summer but I really hope you enjoyed this little random week in my life I'm gonna try to vlog again next week because I just I just really like filming and vlogging the cozy parts of the year uh, so I'm gonna do my best to find time to edit these videos and share them with you so if you would like to see more of this please do leave a comment and like the video because it always helps that being said I hope you enjoyed this video hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you soon Hopefully next week. Goodbye.